Hello, Gorangies are on view, this time for our Monday sale, which is on Tuesday, the 9th of May. <laughs> You're shaking your head. <laughs> it's a Tuesday sale, not a Monday sale. It's a Monday sale on a Tuesday. And what time is it? It's at nine o'clock in the morning. We're starting half an hour early. Why are we starting half an hour early? Well, there've been all these bank holidays and we've just got lots and lots of stuff. You've got a thousand lots in a, in a, a, in a Tuesday <gasps> sale. Wow. So a thousand lots, yes, which includes 350 odd lots of furniture. So I'm in the warehouse wow. to promote said furniture <laughs> and garden objects. So what have we got? Well, we're going in blind because we thought it'd be interesting. Dave catalogued this side. So uh, n neither of us have seen what's here. Um, it's the usual mixture of curiosities. Look, there's a nice serpentine chest in walnut. It's not of huge age. It's probably 1950s to pretty be honest, though. but that's I not 49, like but it's pretty. It's yeah. a nice shape. Um, carrying on down, we've got some continental furniture. We've got. Um, I'm just, I'm just yes. looking to my right. What is that? It's a back scratcher. Blimey. No, it's for uh, from memory. It's for scarifying grain or something like that. These are little flints sticking out of the wood. Gosh. And so by by you do thresh onto it, and I think the grains come off. I think that's what it is. It's lot forty four. It's now a decorative panel that one puts on the wall. Actually, it is quite decorative. People say, isn't what's it? that? Yes, yes. it is certainly do. Um, and maybe they get the same answer that I gave, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Lots of garden furniture, as always. Uh, beds, this one looks a bit like Anso to bed to me. Yes, it does. You'd agree that, wouldn't you, madam? Yeah, yes. I would. Um, there we are, no mattress, of course, but the whole frame thing looks to be fair quality. Yes, it looks amazing. Look. There's always some oak. Um, there's a gun cabinet here. You want to lock your shotgun away, lock 20. Mm. Of course, with the keys, Simple, without yeah. it. Um, industrial lamps, wrought iron gates. Industrial lamps? Oh, yeah, there. Showing here, lot 29. I think they're a re-offer, actually, but Gosh. second chance to... Uh, That's quite a nice table, isn't it? This one? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's got a nice underframe. Yes. There's a bit more to it, that sort of structure. It's a little bit sort of neo-gothic or what have you it's lot 28 it's in oak it's a yeah it's a very nice table you could have that indoors or i suppose out for a bit it can mm. last for a while what's that there's a very showy pedestal with the uh, english ceramic oh actually this could be zolnay looking at these colors huh. zolnay is the hungarian factory and actually i would say those are zolnay sections lot 72 more garden furniture more occasional well furniture. it's that time isn't it Famous Look at that little hallway. chair, that's so diddy. It is a very pretty diddy little <laughs> that's chair. So cute. It's not 117. Yeah, like it's that. exactly the sort of thing that's quite hard to sell these days, but this one just has a bit more prettiness to it. It's got quite a nice shape. It's buttoned. It's got the original ceramic casters with a bit of blue sticky paper on. There we go. Original nice. ceramic casters. So 117, it's just a nice little thing. It that. is. Um, it'll probably do okay because it is little and, and sort of pretty. Uh, there's another little seat. Oh, no, that's um, not so comfortable. Yes, that's not quite a real seat, is it? Lot <laughs> 125. No. Lots of rockers. You're off your rockers, yep, yes. Lot one... 116, with sort of knobby bits to hold on to. Looks a little bit... Isn't um, that the white one? And the one over the other another side. rocker, yes, modern rocker there. Yes. Uh, carrying on. Looking across the way, sweeping across the uh, garden furniture. My goodness, there's a lot, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of lot. Wow. Yes. So the prices have picked up a bit with spring and coming and of course Easter. I like the we'll shape of these chairs. People in their gardens. Yes, those cross rails are nice, aren't they? Yes. These, uh, the, these ribs things. Could do with things. a bit of a jet wash. A jet wash? Is that what one can do to them? Yeah. Is that a technical they come recommendation? Up. They come up do so well. Do not do this at home. Do not jet wash your furniture. <laughs> Here's something people like. Lot 133, nest of drawers. Always popular. There are a few missing from there. Um, and then... Well, I think you're just going to have to come and see. There's a nice walnut chest down there. There's some Globe Vernica bookcases. Where did I see those? Around the other side, I saw some Globe Vernicas. So, Shall we just quickly go around the other side? Well, no? we could do. Well, there's just so much. It's well, just there. incredible. I'm not sure. I want to show you. <laughs> um, where would you like to go? Down the middle? Well, I was looking at um, the horses, actually. But the then galloping you need to go horses. Down that aisle, I think, won't you? Okay. Yes. The. Um, we can keep walking backwards. Yes, go on. But don't okay, so more don't. garden planters there. Oh my goodness. Bedside chests. Um, large adjustable. That's quite something. Yeah, that's quite a thing. You need a few candles for that. Crikey. Yeah. Um, it'll singe the ceiling. And then what's that? That's a bird feeder, I think. Like garden lamp and that's bird quite feeder. Fun. Yeah, adjustable telescopic brass ecclesiastical 
lamp standards. Uh -huh. Again, these big candles. Uh, lot 175 you were looking at. Good grief, Here, look yeah. at this. Carved wood. I think this is probably American. Looking at the background, which looks like the sort of national, it's like Arizona or somewhere, doesn't it? Those yes. Peaks. But I'm not sure. I have, don't have any further information, and it's possible that whoever booked it in did know more. But that's lot 175. Yeah. So there we go, a host of furniture. Um, if you're looking for something, it may well be here. It hopefully is. Uh, and we're going to look at the smalls now. Okay. So here we are in the smalls. Lots of smalls, as discussed. Large sale on the Tuesday. Starts at 9 o'clock. Um, <laughs> here, I've talked about him before. Local artist Peter Messer paints in egg tempera. Um, so he mixes up his powder paint with egg and paints it on. You have to be fairly quick because it dries quickly and then you sort of, I think he sort of scratches it and works it. But uh, quite a large example there, lot 678. That's great, I like that. It's kind of fun, yes. isn't it? Um, other artwork. Here's a deer hound oh, by Herbert Dixie, gorgeous. one of his many dry point etchings, signed in pencil. Very typical of the period, lot 659. Uh, scattered throughout the sale, oh, you will nice. find a number of works by J.C.J. Pottery, that is 562, who very much sort of carries on where Pilkington Lancastrian left off with these luster glazed wares. I'll show you some more as we I go I quite like through. these as well. I don't know about those. 562A, um, they're initialed A-H. Uh, I don't they're know who metal, those are. But yeah, they're, they're sort of um, lacquered metal. Mm, I like 562A. Uh, I, these caught my eye for the sort of expressions more than anything. Gosh. Aren't they curious? Yes. They're Chinese, look, 566. I wouldn't say they have huge age, they're 20th century, but uh, quite an interesting set, Gosh. old enough to have got some um, damage, <laughs> and but just these amazing, something about the faces, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're so quite curious, this. So uh, there we go, uh, a Chinese lot of interest. Uh, it looks like a lamp sale this time. Lots yes. Of lamps down here. Now, can you carry on filming or will you have to stop to squeeze past? Oh, that's rude. I'm not that big. Okay, well, there's a, an unusual sort of South American or Central American looking vessel, 447A. Again, quite a few A lots in this sale due to the um, large quantities. There's a nice Anthony Gross etching. If you'd like your etchings to be a bit newer than Dixie, then that's great pickers. Lot 652. Mm. Round this way. Around this way, uh, this looks like Herond. Yes, it is Heron porcelain, always popular, always sells well. There's some Dalton oh, nursery gosh. ceramics I here. This. Um, we talked about those um, Jesse Marion King ceramics, didn't we? Oh, yes. That were in the sale two, three weeks ago. If, if anyone saw the prices, those absolutely flew. They Some did. of them made her a thousand pounds a lot. But anyway, uh, we don't have any more of those at the moment. Hopefully, we will. What we do have are these rather curious works by this artist called Pinna. Ah. Um, 692 running through to 696, another lot further on. Um, I forget her first name, it's Lady Artist, uh, somewhat obscure, but they've got a really quirky look to them. And they're, they're just quite interesting the way they're done. Look at this sort of strange circus traveling down the street. Yeah. Um, this one is called Carnival, priced at 12 guineas. <laughs> so she, she rated her work price-wise. Uh, there's another one there of a zoo. So uh, those are something unusual. Mm. You won't find anywhere else, I suspect. <laughs> You're laughing. Horses, uh, no, horses, dogs. Dogs, yes, get your, get your hands here. Um, a good collection of assorted... Sort of lurches and whippets. Yes, those. that's it, absolutely, mm. hand figures. Uh, a number of postcard original artworks. Uh, again, in unframed lots scattered throughout the sale. Uh, no, don't look at that. That's oh, happened. Sorry, that's, that's happened. That sorry. should have happened. Sorry. That's been and gone in a waiting collection, ah, one hopes. Yes. So, uh, yes. Uh, we'll go one, one more line and then go and look at Jury and Silver. Okay. Um, so, yes, a good lot of wines. Uh, various curiosities. Look at that. Huh. That's bronze as well. Got 364. He's playing his own trumpet or something along those lines. Uh, look, there's another J your own trumpet. Yes, there's another JCJ. Oh, Got gosh. 546. Look at that. The entwined stalks, an interesting lump. Um, little Edwardian clock, smart little thing. Nice carved armorial, some Inuit hardstone carvings by looks of things. 
So as ever, it's all here. Another, one. JCJ. Another JCJ. JCJ. You've got your eye in now. Yeah. 378. Grumpy fish. They're very lovely, aren't they? They're very lovely. Now, yes. behind the counter, let's see what Roger's been up to. Lots of silver down here. Uh, I'm looking at some salvers, uh, uh, teapots, the usual sort of mixture. Uh, can I see anything in it? I can't I see can anything this side. Pick out what it's in the got. How about that? Yes. 827. Um, looks 18th century to me. Early 19th, the most recent. I think Roger said the marks are probably German. Um, and it's a double. And it's a fair size, isn't it? 827. It is, yeah, it's nice. So there's that one. Uh, let me try and put it back where I found it. 819's caught my eye. I don't know why. It's just a modern, funky. Is it oh, that's why, because it's Jensen. I do have a good eye for these you things, do. don't I? Is but 819, lighter? yes, it's a lighter. Ha! Huh. So again. That's a cool lighter. Yeah, it's a cool it's lighter. It's amazingly heavy. It? And while we're sticking on small things, pocketable sort of things, here, 842. Pretty, pretty. Uh, a very pretty, not huge age. This would be around about 19. Well, it's, it's got a 1951 presentation inscription in it, but I suspect it might be a little bit older than that. Stamp 935, it's continental silver, marker seat inset, enameled, just a nice, pretty, decorative box. Plenty of other silver to look at. Mm. Should we go and look at the jewellery? Yes, I'm going to check. So two cabinets full of jewellery again, another good lot on offer. Uh, we've picked out a few bits, haven't we? We have. You picked out that 925. Oh, it's just curious. It's nice quality. It's probably Swiss. Um, enameled. Brooch? Pearl set. Yes, brooch. Uh, central enamel panel. Uh, sometimes you've got a make or inscription. Nothing on the back, nothing inside the lid, but looks like it could well be the original box. Mm. That's lot 925. Yes. Something else in a box. <coughs> Another Is brooch. It? 997. Do you think no? Sapphire Sapphires? and diamond. Oh, yeah. 100%. Sapphire and diamond. Lucky Very horseshoe. Yeah. Oodles of rings in here. Yeah, there are. Um, pink topaz. That, that comes with 894 a, with a certificate saying yes. it's pink topaz. Oh. Um, kind of missed that. Can you see through the glass? Not really. Okay, I'll pull out a few then. Please. Thank you. Uh, lots of emeralds I've seen. 912 showing there. Mm. Um, little pretty diamond rings such as 904. Nice. I like the comments. So far, I'll see if I can pull one out and you go, eh. Um, never. 902. Well, actually, you're that's a bit more arty, well. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm lucky dipping. Elegant. Or else everything in the cell is lovely, which is probably true. How about those pretty little drop earrings oh, in diamond and ruby? I do like those. 882. Yes. Very wearable. <clears throat> as, as... What about 914? What's, um, is it, 914? Is, is it just a... It's a, it's a very nice s sort of fish scale link bracelet. Um, lot that's 914. a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. And do you think that's gold? Oh, gosh, yes. 100%. <laughs> oh, gosh, yes. We don't sell any old rubbish here, he said. Uh, I can't quite read the mark from here, but I imagine it's nine, but Rod will have said. That's right. Um, but yeah, and it's got there's a degree of um, different coloration in there. Yes. It looks like there's two or it's three colours in there. Snaky. Yes, it is. It's mm. snaky, or I'm not going to say it's fishy because it doesn't sound very good, does it? No. Oh, there's, a, there's a very bright, shiny, contemporary mounted mm. five stone. Yep. That alternate setting that's lot 887 nice and bit. yeah and then back here there's more oh look there's a there's a green thing in a box there's is more that, um, is that an emerald well let's have a look what do we think probably rog will have looked mm, jury's out from my eye but he will have tested it and had a look and worked out well, how whatever it is it's quite striking and what isn't have it? you. that's lot 956 i'll have a look um and then yes there are other more there's some older bits of jewelry in there but a whole host of jewelry not many watches i'm sorry to say we'll try and do better next time what is that well only you pick that up and then sort of say, well, it's a bracelet it's a bracelet set with an onyx or an agate agate uh, oh, i think oh, it's, an agate, it's a it? silver bracelet it's most unusual isn't it and it it's is. lot nine five zero mm. so there we go a whole host of things uh so we're on view on the friday and the saturday morning till one o'clock Closed bank holiday Monday. Sale starts at 9 o'clock in the morning on the Tuesday, the 9th of May. Have a great bank holiday weekend and we look forward to seeing you at the sale. Thank you.